The subway is the fastest way to get around New York. You can of course take yellow cabs, which you all have I'm sure seen. The subway is the fastest way, not always the cleanest way. But Times Square, which I'll show you next, is a really easy place to get to and from in the city. As you can see, all of those circles with numbers and letters represent different lines you can take to get around the city. And it's very easy to do that from, from Times Square. This is a picture of Times Square at night. As you can see, advertising is a really, really big part of New York. There are countless billboards that they light up at night and uh, advertise for all different kinds of things from Pepsi to Swatch. And there's a lot of shopping in Times Square as well. But even for stores that don't exist in Times Square, you will find these advertisements. Also in this picture, you can see behind us that uh, in the streets over here, there are no cars. And you won't find that in New York in most places. But in Times Square, there are portions of the street where no cars are allowed to go. It makes it a lot easier to walk around Times Square. That being said, it's still very difficult because it's so crowded. If you want to meet a native New Yorker, don't go to Times Square, you will not meet any. Because people who live in New York generally do not like Times Square. Very few New Yorkers come to visit Times Square because there's so many tourists, it's so crowded and it's extremely expensive. Mamma Mia, maybe you've heard of? Broadway, exactly. So Broadway is actually the name of a very large street, but it's where you can find many different musicals and plays, sometimes comedy shows and sometimes concerts as well. And of course you can see here many yellow cabs. Do not be fooled though, even though there are so many, it's very difficult to get one to stop for you. It's the Brooklyn Bridge. So the Brooklyn Bridge um, connects, of course, Brooklyn to Manhattan. And it's a really kind of great thing to do over the summer or when the weather is nice because a lot of people like to walk over. You get really, really beautiful views of the city. There's also a bicycle lane, so it's very popular for people to walk over that way. And there's also a really fantastic pizza place. On the Brooklyn end of it, there were people wait an hour just to get pizza because it's so good. This is Rockefeller Center. Uh, before I talk about the tree, because uh, the tree is not there most of the year, behind the tree, that building over there is 30 Rock, and it's the address in Rockefeller Center. It's where NBC Studios is located. And NBC Studios is a uh, TV studio where they film a lot of shows that are popular in America. And if you go there, you can actually get a tour of the studio, which is pretty nice. You can also go, it's called Top of the Rock, you can go up and get a really great view of the city, one of the best views that you can get. And it's kind of nice just to go relax, and there's some shops in there as well. There's also, of course, this tree, they bring it every year for Christmas, and a lot of people like to come take photographs. And then this ice skating rink is also open for the winter, and you'll see that in a lot of movies. And it can be kind of nice to walk around, people also I like to window shop in the area because there's some really nice stores and they put up these really great decorations in the window for Christmas. And then the last picture. This is the World Trade Center Memorial. I did not take this picture uh, because I have not been. Uh, but this is an aerial view of the World Trade Center Memorial. It was just open just before I left New York to come here. And the World Trade Center Memorial, as you can see, there's these two squares. Each of these is where the two towers used to stand before they were destroyed. So it opened for the 10 year anniversary. You can't really tell from this picture, but on all the walls of that, there's these giant waterfalls. And also written on the walls are the names of all the people who died in the attacks. There's also right back there a museum. And again, I have not been there yet, but it's a really nice place to go if you most people, especially living in New York, if not just in America, 
uh, lost at least one or two or three people that they knew in the attacks. Uh, so it's nice to go pay tribute to the people you know who died uh, and to go to the museum. They also planted all these trees around because as you may have noticed, uh, Central Park is the largest green space in New York, but there are not many others. So it was kind of to make it a nice kind of peaceful area for people to come visit.